Hey guys, how's it going? Um, little change of scenery. I'm actually at my parents' house in Nebraska on Christmas vacation. And I have to watch the game like this. Because while we do get the NHL Network, it doesn't have the start game one. Weak. Um, so right now we just finished the second period. Um, Calgary has taken three more shots on goal than us. But we've outscored them 2-1 to one in the second period alone. First period, kind of boring. No penalties, no goals. We took six shots, they took nine. We both took eight in the second period. Just kind of like chill first period. Um, Boma got the first penalty for Calgary. Uh, six minutes, 26 seconds into the second period. Interference. Three minutes later, Hemsky gets a penalty for hooking. I mean, was he really hooking? I don't know, because I'm watching a box score. I'm not watching the game. Um, but the thing that I thought was funny was Klingberg and Granlund got joint penalties. Like, they both got a penalty at the same time. So Klingberg gets a penalty for hooking. Okay, it happens. It happened to Hemsky earlier. I mean, it's normal. It's a typical penalty. But Granlund got a penalty for holding the stick. Now, the last time I heard someone get a penalty for holding the stick was at a Stars game in our arena. And not even kidding you, Nikki looks at me and goes, aren't they all holding sticks? Well, that is true. Holding the stick of the person who hooks you is technically a penalty because you're preventing them from moving on. Which is why I almost feel like Klingberg's hooking call was unfair. Now, he may have been hooking before, and when they went to go call it, Granlund grabbed his stick and wouldn't let go. But at the same time, it's not really fair for Klingberg to get called on hooking if Granlund was holding his stick and keeping him from getting his stick away from Granlund. Um... Everyone's talking about the big hit on Boma. I mean, if you're going to interfere with our team on the ice, you kind of deserve to get hit. Know what I mean? Um, let's talk goals. Jamie Ben, finally, bro. Jamie, welcome back to the game of hockey, sir. Finally gets a goal uh, since the LA Kings game, November 22nd. That was his last goal. Then he turns around and gets an assist on Daly's goal. Which is his 19th assist. Jamie got his ninth goal. Sagan got his 16th assist on Jamie's goal. Cody Eakin got his 6th. On Trevor's goal, Jamie got his 19th. Cody Eakin got his 7th. And then, like, almost at the very tail end of the period, Calgary decides, Oh, hey, we've taken 17 shots on goal. Maybe we should score one. Um, so right now it's 2-1, to one stars over Calgary. We're in second period intermission. We are having a good road trip right now. Uh, we won the other night 2 nothing. Solid, solid work by our boys. Roussel with that empty in there. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, it looks like... Stats-wise, both of us, both teams kind of failed on the power play. Um, we've hit 11 of their guys. They've hit 15 of ours. We've won 26 face-offs. Now, see, that's something that the guys have been striving for all season. Let's win more face-off, win more face-off, win more face-off. Well, right now, we've got them by seven. So as long as we keep this up, we're doing pretty good. Um, we've only had six giveaways, whereas Calgary's had 16. That kind of sucks. I feel like we've had those games where we just were like giving away 10, like a 10 to 1 ratio on giveaways for us. Um, takeaways, we've had six, they've had four. Um, we've had five block shots that had 17 block shots. Um, and we're evenly tied on penalty minutes at four and four. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the third. I'm kind of hoping we just battle out of this and get ahead far enough that we don't have to worry about it if they 
by chance score again. But uh, not too concerned about it. Uh, Kari is doing awesome right now. His save percentage is 90, 0.941. He is kicking butt right now. Klingberg's the only one with penalty minutes. Klingberg and Hemsky are the only ones with penalty minutes right now. Um, when they left the ice, the lines were Klingberg and Goose and Jamie, Sevier, and Fiddler. So, it'll be interesting to see where we come out in the third. I'm just kind of hoping... I don't know. We do some serious damage right now. Um, leading the team in ice minutes tonight so far is Trevor with 15:21, and falling behind everyone else with the least amount of ice time right now is Curtis McKinsey. He's only at six minutes and 49 seconds on the ice, which is plenty to do something and do something big. So I'll be excited to see if he pulls out a goal maybe in the third. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> 